uh what's going on guys welcome to the studios my name is indeed uh kyle kyle comfort yeah that's it that's a kyle comfort um today i'm gonna be reviewing something that killed so many nerd boners that people were in disbelief for the longest time for years they thought this movie was good and that movie is star wars the phantom menace and for so many years, I actually thought this was probably my least favorite movie in the Star Wars franchise uh, before the newer movies came out. Then re-watching it, I'm like, it's not diarrhea bad. It's bad, but it's not earth-shattering bad. I will say that. Let me get into the, some of the bads first, uh, for obvious reasons. We gotta get we gotta get into the bads. This is a WTF series. The thing that killed this movie the most was definitely the writing and the acting. I think that Liam Neeson did the best job, but that's not saying much. Every single character is as flat as paper itself. But yet, managing to be flatter, that's what thats what these actors were. They were so fucking flat, they're like, Hi, we are interesting, we are Jedi, we are we are fighting the Sith. That, 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 that is what they're like the entire movie. So when it comes to like trying to get invested, it's impossible to get invested. The only reason why I think this was more bearable for me personally is because I actually binged, recently binged, the Star Wars The Clone Wars series, and that made me understand the politics in this whole shit show a lot better. When they're talking about the blockade and the Federation and all that shit, I understood what was going on because guess what? I watched six seasons of Star Wars The Clone Wars. I think it's six seasons. But I had time to understand what these politics were. So I actually learned and I actually kind of cared and I, I knew what was going on. But for people who didn't watch that stuff, because at the time this movie came out, that that stuff didn't exist. They're like, what the fuck is the Federation? Why is there a blockade? And they're like, they don't spend enough time explaining the whole politics of this world because they're too busy on Tatooine trying to get Anakin like, he's the chosen one. I don't give a flying... Fuck! Who the chosen one is? Not saying like the whole Star Wars lore. I don't care who the chosen one is. I'm saying based off this movie, they don't make me care enough because you know why the characters and the uh, writing is not interesting. If your characters and your story is not interesting enough, specifically with your actors, if they're not interested, it's harder for us as an audience to get connected. And that's what happened here. I'm telling you, if they had less flat dialogue, I'm just telling you, if you fix the dialogue. And then just tell the actors to stop being flat. You would have had a decent movie. A decent movie. You had a great villain in Darth Maul. And it's just like they focused a little too much on Tatooine in my opinion. When I first watched this movie, I was like, God, I was really young. I think I was like eight at the time. I saw this movie and I thought that the the pod racing was like an hour long. I did a timer on this and it was only like less than 10 minutes. I didn't think it was that long watching it recently, but I could see why my eight year old self would find it boring because it's, I just wasn't interested. I felt like, okay, he's gonna win. They try to set it up like, oh my God, he's never finished a race and this and that. I just didn't feel any stakes. I don't blame the kid for being a bad actor because a lot of people are like he's such a bad actor he's a really fucking bad actor but first off he's a kid and that's not an excuse because you should judge acting based off of acting it's always harder to direct kids but like i'm gonna blame george lucas on that one just like hey yeah and it seemed like he was spongebob in his box playing around in this imaginary world because most of it's cgi speaking of cgi Jesus Christ, the CGI does not hold up one bit. Jar Jar Binks looks awful. I don't even need to talk about Jar Jar Binks as a character because you already know what I'm going to say. He's a fucking garbage character, but he looks awful. 
awful. And the humor with his race and blah, 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 blah. Like, what the fuck is that? That's so childish. It's so boring. It's so bad. It's like that entire stuff with Jar Jar Binks' race is just bad. Just bad. You got this one character pretending to be the princess of Naboo and she talks like this. I will not let that happen to my people. Only millions are being slaughtered, apparently. But I'm going to talk like this because I'm a politician. And I'm cool and smooth. I can't stress that enough. The worst factor in this entire movie is the bland acting and the bland writing. There's some writing I was like, like eh, that's, that doesn't seem like it's coming from a $200 million movie. I don't know what the budget was. But if you make this movie today, it would have been 250 easy. 250 easy. But um, God knows what the budget was back then. Probably like probably a solid 100 million because back then that was a lot of money. This is definitely not the worst one because I still found entertainment in it. I still like seeing Obi Wan. Um, I I know that's like a fan thing to say, but like I really do find it interesting seeing Obi Wan as a kid. So the fight scenes looked really really good, especially with the Darth Maul stuff. Um, everything else when it came to the shooting, the blasters, it just they're like. Boom, 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 boom. I'm like, ah, intense. But when it came to the, the lightsaber duels, that looked really good, specifically where Qui-Gon Qui dies, because that looked really intense. And when Obi-Wan got really mad and started fighting him, I thought that looked really, really good. I'm just saying, look, that's, that fight scene will always be probably one of my favorite fight scenes in Star Wars, just saying. I, I talked a little bit about the Federation already, but the biggest problem I had with them is like their makeup, which is good. But they came off as very cheesy Godzilla characters. Like, you know, when you got these, like, or, or Power Rangers, if you will. You got these guys in suits. Their lips are not matching up with their dialogue. And it comes off very distracting. Actually, that does bring up another problem with the movie. There's a lot of times where the ADR is off. If you guys don't know what ADR is, I'll explain it um, really quickly, very briefly. ADR is when when you're filming, you film like you know the sound, the look, and everything. ADR is when you realize that audio is not good, so you got to go into a studio and then just try to match up your dialogue through a new mic. So you're, it's it's hard. It's ADR is hard, but when you're a big Star Wars movie, you got to do better than what I've seen. The kids' ADR was always off, especially in the uh, pod race scenes. I, like you like. I could see his lips were not matching up with his dialogue. It's very distracting and makes you realize you're watching a movie. And a couple other characters were like that. It, it, it's very, very distracting. And I know it's very tough because I had to do it before. But it's a big budget movie. You got you to gotta get that shit handled. So overall, my final thoughts are it's not as bad as I remember. But it's still really bad where Darth Maul does really keep this movie going. So I'm going to give this movie 2 out of 5 stars. I'm going to be really nice with, with this movie. I still had entertainment value with it. The Tatooine scenes were really bland. Uh, when it came to the Jedi Council, I thought that was bland. I, I, Yoda seemed very out of character, very intense. He was more intense than I remember. He's not the wise, ooh, you will or will not kind of crap. It's some Shakespearean shit. He seemed more intense. But other than that, that, that the Yoda thing is just a nitpick because, um, you know, he's younger compared to the originals. But, yeah, those are my final thoughts. Can't wait to hear your thoughts down below, guys. I have a Twitter, Instagram, comes to underscore videos. Go follow me there for the latest news and updates on my channel, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and all our crap later, and goodbye. There's a fly in my room. Jesus Christ.